Hi there, my name is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for Sunday, August 18th, 2013. Today I wanted to talk a little bit, we, we, we talk a lot about stop, challenge, and choose um, as one of the catch words or the catch phrases of um, developing healthy habits and, and going toward, working toward our optimal health in our lives and, and what does stop, challenge, and choose mean? What, what does it mean? We hear it a lot. So um, on the surface of it, it, it sounds self-explanatory, but I wanted to go in a little bit about um, what it actually means. And I've got, I've got um, to help me, um, Dr. A's uh, Living a, a Longer, Healthier Life Companion Guide um, to Dr. A's Habits of Health. Let me turn my alerts off there. Um, so uh, on page 19, he talks about more ways to harness your habits with stopping and challenging and choosing. Um, so he says, this is one of the most powerful techniques I found for uncoupling undesirable reactions to events. Use this anytime you become aware of an unhealthy thought, feeling, or action to awaken your conscious thought process and stop your conditioned response in its tracks. Let's say you're about to eat a whole tray of appetizers at a party because you're nervous. First, stop and take a deep, slow breath to help bring your emotions, your emotions under control. Challenge yourself by thinking about why you're feeling or acting the way you are. Then choose the behavior that supports what you really want. By moving from mindless reaction to conscious awareness, you can avoid actions and behaviors that sabotage your long-term ally. So he says that, you know, time can be a powerful ally as you build optimal health. As you see in the following chart, your daily choices over time can lead you from non-sickness to disease. But conversely, time can serve as your ally as you make choices that lead to optimal health. I have found this so true in my own life. So I'm going to review this. I think it's backwards for you. No, that's good. Can you read that? Is it backwards? I think it's backwards for you. Um, stop, challenge, and choose. Basically, stop. There's a trigger or a negative feeling or an unhealthy environment, and you stop. You take a deep breath, and you center yourself. That's what stopping means. Taking a deep breath and centering yourself. Then you suspend the action you suspend the action while you're contemplating and challenging whether or not it will take you toward your primary goal. So that's in the challenging. You suspend the action and you challenge. Why am I feeling like this? What outcome do I want? Then you choose the healthy choice, the optimal response, um, alternate, alternate behavior awareness. So you choose that response that will take you toward your primary goal, that which you said you wanted, toward optimal health. Um, if at this point you choose to engage in the behavior, uh, eat the tray of appetizers or, or whatnot, then what you, are, what you are choosing, you're making a choice that day, that, that instance, but you are choosing to, um, to have what you want right now in sacrifice what you want eventually. So if you choose not to have that right now and instead work toward optimal health, you're saying to yourself that you are willing to suspend what you may think you want right now for what you want eventually. And really that's the crux of self-discipline. That's the crux of delayed gratification. That's what we teach our kids every day. Are we modeling that for them? Are we modeling that for them? That's a fair question. Um, and one that I've had to really confront in my own life. So anyway, that's just a quick lesson of stop, challenge, and choose today. As you see, I'm wearing um, my Cardinals. Um, you didn't see the bird, but there it is. This is my, this is my Cardinals jersey. You know, go, go Cards. Um, they're my favorite team. And uh, I hope they win the Super Bowl this year. I'm betting on them. So go Cards. Have a great rest of your Sunday, family day, uh, whatever you're doing to relax, and we will um, speak with you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.